family of British tourist jailed for three years in hellish Egyptian prison fear she won't survive and say she's already been beaten in her cell after accidentally pleading guilty to smuggling drugs. Laura Plummer, 33, has been sentenced to three years in jail and a £4,205 fine. Yesterday she accidentally confessed to the crime, her legal team has claimed. Her distraught mother said she feels sick and is so frightened for her daughter. The case revolves around 290 Tramadol tablets she took to Egypt for her lover. The family of a British woman jailed in Egypt after being found guilty of smuggling drugs into the country says they fear she will not survive three years in prison. Shop worker Laura Plummer, 33, from Hull was arrested after she was found to be carrying 290 Tramadol tablets in her suitcase, a painkiller which is legal in the UK but banned in Egypt. Ems Plummer's family, who have described her as naive, said she was taking the tablets for her Egyptian partner Omar Kabou, who suffers from severe back pain. But now a judge at a preliminary court has sentenced her to three years imprisonment and ordered her to pay a fine of 100,000 Egyptian pounds, 4,205 pounds. If she ever makes it out of there, I will be amazed, Ems Plummer's sister Jane Sinclair told the Mirror. She will probably be dead if she has to stay in there for three years. The 40-year-old added, she is not the strongest person, she's already having a nervous breakdown and is being kicked and punched in the holding prison. Yesterday, her lawyer said Ems Plummer had accidentally confessed in front of a judge after reportedly misunderstanding a question. Ems Plummer's family previously claimed she was suicidal after sharing a 15-feet square cell with 25 women inmates. It has also been claimed that staff at the jail, which is on the outskirts of the city of Haghada, have shown little sympathy for what the Egyptian media are calling the Tramadol tourist. Mr. Kabu was described by witnesses at the court as being very sad after the sentence was delivered, while Laura cried so heavily that her mother had to calm her down. Speaking after the sentence, her visibly distraught mother, Roberta Sinclair, said, This is not fair. She's done it in all innocence. She brought the drugs to help someone, to help a family. She added, she's the kindest person. I was worried about her before, when she was in the police station. I'm even more worried now she's in actual prison with real criminals. I feel sick. I'm so frightened for her. She has now been transferred to a police station, from which she will be sent to jail. Laura Plummer was arrested at Haggadah International Airport on October 9 when police discovered she was carrying Tramadol and naproxen in her suitcase. Since then, she has been held in a communal cell in Haggadah packed with 25 other women. Her current cell is 15 feet by 15 feet, her family said, and, they claim, full of murderers, heroin addicts and prostitutes. Her sister Jane Sinclair told the Mirror she was being targeted by other inmates because she is foreign. Jane said, to give you an idea of the place Laura is staying in, this woman, a woman alleged to be caring for Laura, is locked up for slitting her best friend's throat. She added, she's a target in the because she's a foreigner. She was being kicked and kicked until apparently the cell leader started watching her. Jane has also said Ems Plummer has threatened to kill herself because of the repulsive conditions in the prison, which has no toilet or air conditioning. She reportedly relieves herself in a hole in the ground. Either today or tomorrow, she will be sent to either Cana prison. Prisons in Egypt have been repeatedly exposed as hellishly filthy. Al Jazeera interviewed an inmate from Al Khanata prison which is used for both political prisoners and for regular criminals, who said it was full of cockroaches and disgusting. She said everything was dirty and she regularly felt intimidated by other prisoners. Ezra El Toil told the broadcaster, The prison is scary and horrible. A different world, some prisoners are caught for using drugs, some for being prostitutes, some for pickpocketing, and others for stealing public funds. I have seen strange people and heard very strange stories. This cell is disgusting, full of cockroaches. 
Everything here is disgusting and life here is very difficult. Al Jazeera, which is based in nearby Qatar, also published a more general story about the state of Egyptian prisons in 2014. In shocking videos leaked to the TV channel, jails in the country were shown to be cramped and dirty. Toilets were a hole in the ground with a curtain for privacy. Al Monitor, meanwhile, has reported that female prisoners in Egypt face regular sexual harassment and abuse by guards at jails. She said the family was trying to find out more details about what happened in the courtroom today. She said, My mum's obviously devastated. She's out there by herself. She added that she did not know whether the appeal would be heard today. She said, We are just hoping. Even half of that would be better. Anything less than three years. She doesn't deserve that. M's plumber's MP Carl Turner said the ruling had come as a devastating blow to her family but he was hopeful that good sense would eventually prevail. He said her case had been raised with the Egyptian authorities by Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson and the Foreign Office Minister Alistair Burt. I am hopeful that good sense will eventually prevail, he told BBC Radio 4's The World at One. This is a damning indictment actually of the Egyptian authorities in the sense that good sense and fairness certainly hasn't prevailed in this case. This is a decent woman who has made a terrible mistake who shouldn't be incarcerated in any prison, never mind an Egyptian prison. Neville Plummer, Laura's father, said his daughter is on the verge of a breakdown after the sentencing. Their family are all absolutely devastated for Laura. It has been very distressing for everyone involved, but we have got to stay strong for Laura, he said. The last time I spoke to Laura was two days after she was arrested. To be honest, I think she was sentenced on the day she was arrested. This has been drawn out and dragged on and on, and in a way a line has now been drawn in the sand and things can only get better. We have now got to stay positive for Laura, Mr. Plummer said. I will leave no stone unturned, and will let no money stand in the way of getting her the justice she needs. She pleaded guilty to the trafficking when she did not even mean to plead guilty that is not justice, that is an injustice. I will never give up with the help. It is a very sad day for the family, at what should be a happy time of the year. Mr. Plummer praised the work of the lawyers and legal teams who had represented Laura during the hearing. He also said her least MP Carl Turner had been very supportive of Laura, and was continuing in his work to help the Hull woman. Mr. Turner said, I am hopeful that good sense will eventually prevail. This is a damning indictment actually of the Egyptian authorities in the sense that good sense and fairness certainly hasn't prevailed in this case. This is a decent woman who has made a terrible mistake who shouldn't be incarcerated in any prison, never mind an Egyptian prison. Yesterday her lawyer said she had accidentally pleaded guilty during a hearing. Her mother Roberta Sinclair travelled to Egypt for the Christmas Day hearing. Her lawyer Dia al said Ems Plummer was asked yesterday, you are accused of smuggling and possessing Dramadol to Egypt? She then replied yes with the judge ensuring the clerk recorded she had confessed to the crime. But when her translator explained what the question was, she denied being guilty of the charge. Mr. Basil told the Telegraph, she meant that she is admitting that she had the tramadol, but not admitting of being guilty. The judge jumped to the conclusion that she confesses before clarifying that she understood the question and this is worrying. Ems Plummer then reportedly wept in frustration stressing it's not fair. Her lawyer will submit an explanation today emphasizing that she meant to say she had the drug with her but did not intend to sell it. Her sister Rachel Plummer said the judge adjourned the case for a day because of Laura's condition. She said, she's sleep deprived, she's visibly nervous and upset. She's answered some questions wrong because she's not understanding them, she obviously can't think straight. You can imagine the pressure, this is her life. She said their mother and Mr. Kabu were denied access to the hearing as their driver took them to court late. MP Carl Turner told Sky News yesterday's hearing was adjourned so that Ems Plummer could find another interpreter. He said, 
apparently something was lost in translation, the defense lawyer wasn't confident that Laura was understanding the questions first of all, and the interpreter wasn't correctly translating what Laura was saying in her answers. Mr. Turner said, the evidence is pretty clear that she didn't know the drug was banned and she was taking it out there to help her boyfriend, who has come up with the evidence that he does suffer from a severe back problem. The Plummer family has previously said she had no idea that what she doing was illegal and was just daft. They said she did not try to hide the medicine, which she had been given by a friend, and she thought it was a joke when she was pulled over by officials after arriving for a holiday with her partner. Mrs. Sinclair said her daughter was being held in terrible conditions in a communal cell with no beds, sharing with up to 25 other women. She said she looked unrecognizable. M's plumber is being held in the Red Sea Resort of Haggada, where she was arrested at the airport on October 9. Her family has been told that she could face up to 25 years in jail, with one lawyer even mentioning the death penalty. Yesterday her lawyer claimed the price of her plane ticket could set her free. Muhammad Uthman said that a plane ticket shows she did not intend to sell the 290 Trimadol tablets found in her suitcase because she paid twice as much for her flight as the drugs are worth. Uthman called the plane ticket a key piece of evidence. He told the son, for someone to be found guilty of drug smuggling they have to be aware that they are possessing narcotics. Laura did not know that what she was carrying was a narcotic. It is illogical that she was dealing in Trimadol. She had only 320 pills, even the plane ticket is almost double the price of those pills. Plummer wept in court as she appeared in front of a judge on Christmas Day. Christmas Day is a normal working day in the Islamic country, and the shop assistant from Hull appeared in the dock handcuffed. Miss Plummer's mother Roberta Sinclair and Mr. Kabu arrived late to the courtroom and stood outside. Mr. Kabu, speaking outside of court, was convinced Miss Plummer would be freed. He told Mail Online, I am sure Laura is innocent. She did not bring the Tramadol for selling or trading. I am sure she will be freed. She did not intend to do smuggle or trade. When Miss Plummer was arrested on October 9, she signed a 38-page document written in Arabic as she thought it would grant her freedom. It led to her being locked up and she has already spent 10 weeks in prison sharing a 15 feet square cell with 25 women inmates. Last month, her mother Roberta Sinclair said, she did not realize what she was doing. She said Ems Plummer made no attempt to hide the medicine, which she had been given by a friend, and she thought it was a joke when she was first pulled over by officials when she flew into the country for a holiday with Mr. Kabu, Mr. Kabu.